FNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials right right now trading up 37. Nasdaq is up 75. S&P is up 6. Gold. Gold contract up $10.50, trading at 1816 an ounce. We have silver flat, $22.84 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 18 cents, $76.74 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year up 6 ticks, trading 130.13. The 30-year up 17 ticks at 159.29 in King Dollar. King Dollar is up 41 ticks, trading 95.970. Euro is at 113, the yen's at 115, the British pound's at 135 to one US dollar. We get over and take a look at the S&P first. We do have folks, the SPY reached a higher high, hasn't you know, held price, bottom line, once higher up high. Where when you take a look at how you broke top side, right now we're five points away from the break. The break is 473 in the SPY, we're at 478. That says 500 is game, so it's gonna be really intriguing coming back um, after the new year, as the new year kicks in. We look at the NDX 100, and the NDX 100, that is going sideways today. Now, with the NDX 100 very well could have, and this is what's gonna be really wild. If we go sideways tomorrow, which we probably will, and if you come back Monday and they jam the market higher, it's gonna be real easy to get enough volume to have an ABC structure up inside of the Qs. And if that's what we get, you're gonna see the um, bottom line, the Qs blow away the high and move a lot higher. And simultaneously, I expect what you're gonna see there is that your probability goes much higher that this next leg has already actually started in the S&P, which is absolutely amazing. But bottom line, that's what it looks like. Gold, gold contract very well could be an ABC structure on the way up. It looks like it's gonna go after the B point tomorrow, which is the 30, I mean, it was the 1821 area. And just as the NDX 100, and that always gets interesting when, you know, the bottom line, you get vacation weeks, you get low volume, and then all of a sudden it's like, you know what, you want to take that baby out. What we do have, and this is what's really cool in the gold contract, the last time that we were up at these levels, you only had 101,000 contracts. Well, we're already 105. So now you're starting to push the highs and you start to push them with volume. So your probability gets higher that you will take that number out. And King Dollar, King Dollar is cooperating out here. King Dollar came down hard yesterday and hasn't held price today. Stay right there, folks, come right back.